Man, I can't get stuck in Genesis. So I kept reading, and I got to the story of Lot. Lot, alayhi salam. There is differences of opinion about, uh, from biblical scholars whether or not Lot was a prophet. And I've even had some preachers debate me, oh, Lot wasn't a prophet. I said, who cares or not whether or not you believe he's a prophet? God saw it fit that this man was important enough to put in his book. So he, there's reason to talk about him. He's in your book for a reason. So the story of Lot السلام, is the story of Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah. The cities that were overrun with homosexuality and God decided to destroy that city due to their sins. And he sent Lot to them to warn them. Now, there's another story about Lot that's really, 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 really not as prestigious. And because we have young children here, I have to water the story down. Because if I give it to you uncut, it's not PG. It's not even PG-13. You would need to show ID to be able to tell you the story in full detail. And I'm just very serious. There are plenty of stories in the Bible that you need identification to prove you're of age. Um, and it would be in one of those little stores with the blacked out windows. I don't know if you have those over here. But it, the story is of Lot and his two daughters. Lot had two daughters and no sons. He had no one to pass on his lineage as, as a male child. And his daughters were worried about this because he was getting old. So his daughters decided to fix it, the problem. And the way they decided to fix the problem was the oldest daughter got Lot intoxicated. He would go with the alcohol again. It seems like it's an overwhelming message in the Bible. Lot's daughter, oldest daughter, got Lot intoxicated one evening and then slept with him and became pregnant by him so that she could possibly have a son. And just to make sure that there was a 50-50 chance, the, the youngest daughter did the same thing the next night. And they both became pregnant by their father. So now I'm really have an issue because now we have two drunk prophets and one of them is sleeping with his daughters. <laughs> so this is starting to become a bad theme to me. So now I'm really interested in the stories of the prophets. So I'm reading all of it, but I'm reading kind of quickly through because there's a lot of parts of the Bible that really you would wonder like, what in the world is this even doing in this book? Uh, it has nothing to do with anything. There's an entire book called Ruth in the Bible that never even mentions God. It's a love story. It's like a romance novel. You're like, what? You finish it and you're like, okay, whatever. <laughs> There's nothing, <laughs> nothing came out of that. Um, but so I kept reading and there were a couple of other stories, but I don't want to keep you here till the Fajr. Um, and the two that really caught my attention the most after, after the one about Lot 